Oi, where's our boba tea? Order for us. Passion for green tea with pure and grass dairy, all along with tea with cream mousse and pudding, pure love from black tea with coconut jelly, no sugar, kamkwa lemon juice ice with red beans, mango yaku special holiday edition with ginger and double pure topping. Does that sound familiar? Well, is it just an ordinary scene that you encounter in your ordinary life? Or is it? You can imagine the modern world to be like a classroom, where this is the delegate representative of a country, and this is the government of the assigned country. Just like how this guy made this guy order boba tea by giving him specific instructions, a country will has a specific policies on specific topics, which a delegate has to follow when they enter a modern UN meeting. However, how do we know about our country stance? Country stands, country policies, those fancy names may sound very confusing. However, it will be a lot easier if you follow these four simple steps. First, identifying your country's priorities. One way to do so is to have a look at your country's leaders' speeches. For example, if you're USA and the topic is current peninsula, Watch this. The United States has great strength and patience, but if it is forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. Rocket Man, Rocket Man. is on a suicide mission for himself and for his regime. The United States is ready, willing, and able, but hopefully this will not be necessary. That's what the United Nations is all about. Before moving to the next step, it is very important to remember that a delegate must stick to his or her country's priorities. For example, if your country is really poor, it is not reasonable for you to agree on a resolution that makes your country fund. Second, finding your country's official stand. You can do so by looking at your country's official website. For, for instance, if your committee is the FAO. One resource to look at is your country's Ministry of Agriculture. Third, finding the hidden stance of your country. Actions speak louder than words. Sometimes your government might say one thing and act another way. Look up at opinion pieces to see the international perspective on your country's actions. Fourth, what you need to know. To aid you in researching process, we have a list of questions that you might want to answer. Here's an example to make things easier to visualize. Supposing you're the United States in your EP and the topic is lessening the impact of climate change. First, identify the main priorities of your country. Trump focused mainly on external threats like North Korea and Iran in his UNGA speech. He also dabbled on the topics of healthcare and employment, but there's been no mention of climate change whatsoever. The official stance can be seen through his tweets. Let's take a look at some of them, shall we? It's freezing outside. Where the hell is global warming? Question mark, question mark. It's really cold outside. They are calling it a major freeze. Weeks ahead of normal. Man, we could use a big fat dose of global warming. It's freezing and snowing in New York. We need global warming. Exclamation mark. Yep, that's the official stance, all right. Finally, the hidden stance. This can be seen through actions such as pulling out of the Paris Agreement or wanting to take the coal industry back. 
And we're done. That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah? No? Anyways, let's take a quick recap of all we talked about today, shall we? Delegates are the representatives of countries and must therefore follow the government's instructions on specific issues, which is called country stance or country policy, by the way. To better understand your country's stance, first, you have to identify the main priorities and concerns of your country. Second, you have to identify the official stance on government websites. And third, you have to find the hidden stance through opinion pieces or observation of your country's actions. And that's all we've got for today. See you next week.